All right. So let's see where it goes. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. Well, like I said in my previous video, I don't necessarily like to call people out, but uh, sometimes people say shit, and it's like I don't. Kn I know they don't really mean it, but like, and obviously, like whenever you operate on certain levels, you learn to distill and discern uh, truth. So you know what people are trying to get at, even if they're using linguistics and and syntax that is shit, <laughs> even if it contradicts uh, themselves, which often happens with people who uh, operate on many, many levels of awareness and beingness, like your boy right here, Zenat Man. What, what, we out here, we out here, boy, a fellow beardy, we out here, here. So, uh, real quick, and, and, and once again, I'm just doing this to do it, uh, <laughs> once again, uh, nigga be lit, so, uh, we'll see what comes of this, and if I'm gonna put this out here or not. <laughs> but I mean what I got to say like I don't think and I don't care but I don't think the Zen man is 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 going to necessarily uh oppose or, or go against what I got to say here and, and if so then and then we'll we'll just hash it out and get to a clearer uh perspective uh, of of what is actually going on here which, on many levels, we all fucking need. We need a clearer uh, vantage point on what's really going fucking on here. So, uh, I've heard you many times, Zen, talk about salt, and, and, and I really, and I really. Uh, would advise you to stop talking about salt. Like you, you've done it enough, and yeah, <laughs> you, it's it's got to the point where like <laughs> these fuckers can go find out for themselves, or you know, or they can just remain ignorant. Like it's not on you, man. You you've already done your due diligence on this salt shit, so. Stop it, and, you know. But you know, do, do it, do it, whatever you want to do. Obviously, as we all do, regardless. You do you, boo. But I, I do get some mixed feelings frequently whenever you talk about salt and you and you talk about the poisonous aspect because. You you keep using this word poison. Hmm. And, and I know you know, being a fellow shaman, shaman the the. That's just the word. There's really no such thing as that word. So I, I would really appreciate if you uh, delved a little bit deeper, or, or or just gave it up altogether, because there's there's no point in beating the fucking stick over the heads of of people over and over again who already have made up their minds that they. Have chosen to believe in a certain thing. But. You say salt is poison. Hmm. Well 
Well, then that's your panacea as well. Let's talk a little bit about uh, direct experience here, which also we're going to get in whenever I play some of this. Because this is uh, something I said in one of uh, my recent comments on one of your videos. I don't remember which one it was right now. But you said exactly what I said. And I didn't watch this beforehand, so I wasn't repeating you or whatever. <laughs> Even if I was, you know, I'm just repeating truth. It doesn't fucking matter. But experience trumps all. That's That's what it is. Experience. You experience it. And then you don't need to fucking... All the other fucking jargon and the, and the shit that you've read up on, the shit that you educated yourself upon, that that just fucking uh, dissolves into the nothingness that it was, because your experience trumps it. God damn! All right, there we go. Okay, Zen, so you keep saying that, you know, people are going to die if they take too much salt in. And you don't even say it like that, like how you put it in. This is, you know, I, I, <laughs> I don't operate on words, like I've said in previous videos, you know, in a very <laughs> uh, blunt way. I, I don't communicate with words, so whenever people are speaking their words... I, I'm operating on, on a place of uh, feeling. So I feel what they really mean. I feel what they're trying to say. I feel where their ignorance and absent-mindedness are coming in the way. And then I try to accentuate the true meaning that they're trying to say. So that they can align themselves with that. And then we can have a true communion. So Zen, Zenny, I, uh, I want to ask the question. Have you ever witnessed and experienced someone dying from salt? You may have heard stories about people drinking too much salt water or and, and, and whatnot, but I'm just very uh, curious. I'm curious here. Who have you seen or heard about dying from salt? Because you say this over and over again, and this kind of ticks me off because you say it, and I don't. You you don't. You don't say anything like cite any sources or any uh, experiences of people having this experience. Now, like I said before, I know what you're fucking saying, dude. I know what you're fucking saying. I'm a fucking shaman. I know. I know how this shit works. But if we're gonna be out here. That we need to be able to speak a little bit of uh, hmm. speak whatever you want to speak, but at the same time, like this is the whole purpose of this shit, is so that we can test each other and realize. It's a refinement process, like I said at the very end of my last video. This is all a refinement process. And, oh, once again, okay, what I wanted to say, like, uh, whatever. Fuck it. So what I will say here, now, whatever, is my experiences with the salts. He does, Zen does go into inorganic and organic salts. I I haven't 
really witnessed him going too in depth with this, which which is uh really really fucking important shit to do, cause it's like night and day. And how you can take inorganic whatever and make it organic by brewing it, by fermenting it. So whenever you ferment stuff and you want to add salt, and like Zen says, you don't have to add salt. But whenever you do, it becomes... It's, it Really, what it does is it speeds up the process that's going on. That's all it does. And then it makes the salt more organic and more bioavailable, if you want to use that fucking terminology. But, uh, one of the things he said here, uh, and, and I know he's gonna understand that he, this was not accurate, is that basically along the lines that the salt doesn't come out in the piss, it comes out in the shit. And yes, all the all the excess bullshit comes out in the shit, but, like, obviously, Zen, you understand, like, you've tasted your salty, like, too salty to drink piss after a night of fucking recluseness. But obviously, that is organic, right? Like, if you're peeing in, if you're pissing that shit out, that's gonna be your organic salt. That you can re-ingest. So my experiences with this. And re-ingesting the orin. That is very salty. Is that it goes. Straight to work on my intestines. Very quickly. I have never in my life. Had a bad experience with. Ing and I'm not saying. Bleh, you know. I'm not saying that just because I have it, like, no one else has. Like, I don't fucking know what other people have experienced necessarily. I'm just giving my two cents here. So take of it what you will. But, I've never had a powerful negative experience by ingesting too much salt. Ever. Ever. So I just want, kind of want to talk about for a second the experiences I've had with uh, myself, but also uh, in witnessing other people ingesting inorganic salts. And this is the worst kind of salt you can ingest, which is table salt. So, and this was an alcoholic that I witnessed doing this. This person that I was uh, involved with at the time, she... She was eating salt just by itself. Table salt. Fucking table salt. Like, and at, she, she ate a fucking ass ton of it. You know, in comparison of how much salt you really fucking need, she was, she was eating a fucking shit ton of salt. Because she quote unquote liked it. So, hmm. So, so think about this. And this is just my experience. Think of it what you will. I don't give a fuck if you believe anything that I say. Don't believe anything. Dude, experience trumps all. Experience shit for yourself. But this girl, she she's an alcoholic. She was drunk. And, and she was taking in massive amounts of salt. She didn't fucking die. She enjoyed it. Make sense of that. Or just say that, you know, that's fucking bullshit. Either way, that's what I experienced. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? But, she was sucking in that salt after being intoxicated. So, if salt, and, and yes, salt does dehydrate. But, you, we also have to remember, whenever we take in anything inside this fucking body, in this in this temple... It becomes organic. So we take in inorganic shit. It becomes organic. Because. because <laughs> It becomes us. We become it. Yes if it's excess. We will expel it. But. 
you're only going to experience hyper dis-ease if you're already fucking clogged up and full of bu bullshit, basically. So what I don't understand here, well, I understand it because I understand, but what you keep saying is salt is poison. What I keep saying is us shamans like fucking poison. There's no such thing as that word, man. There's no fucking poison. There's panacea. There's fucking medicine. That's the word here. There's medicine. And if you use too much medicine, yeah, you will have a strong effect upon yourself. As with anything, salt included. I've used inorganic and organic salts uh, positively. I've transformed inorganic salts into organic salts with ferments. I've witnessed the experience of what I have in with, with the salts on the exterior uh, body and in the interior body. At any point in time, did I ever feel like I was poisoned? Absolutely not. Am I saying that Zen is full of shit? I mean, maybe with some of the stuff that he says, but that's because we don't, we're all, we all fucking go in and out of certain stages and modes. But this salt shit, this is ridiculous, people. But I mean, I, I'm preaching to the choir here. I'm, I'm not. The people I'm talking to, basically, that are going to receive this message, they, they ha already have the gnosis and experience, so like, I, I'm not teaching you or, or explaining things to you, stuff that you don't already know for yourself. It's just, and, and, and it's the exact same thing for Zen here, like, I, I'm well aware that he knows all this shit, obviously. It's just that the mode that you're operating within here, it's coming out. In a way that, uh, it's not, at, hmm. I don't know. We, we all contradict ourselves. And, and so, we just have to try to become aware of this. And that's why it helps whenever we can be called out upon stuff. But, but also not, you know. Oh, be offended or be triggered. But just realize what we're doing. And, and all the time, always and always, it comes down upon what we can realize that we're doing within ourselves. And then the outer projection, the things that we push out to the images and ideas those will become more clear when the inner state becomes more clear. So, whenever my orin is very salty, if it's at the level of I'm just waking up after being fucking just trashing my body with fucking bullshit foods, bullshit and just drinks, beverages, too many, uh, it's going to be too salty for, for me to uh, consume. I may swish it around my mouth, but, but that's it. But then there's the level of saltiness where you're like, okay, I can go ahead and drink this, and I know that this organic salt now is going to go to work on my inner shit. <laughs> and I'm going to have to take a big fucking shit afterwards because of it. So I have requests from Zen to cite examples of how or, or when people have died just from taking in salt. 
yeah, we've heard stories or whatever of people being out stranded in the ocean and they're dehydrated to the point where they just drink the fucking seawater. But, mm, you know, I don't want to hear stories. I want to hear about experience. And if you don't have that, then you need to keep, you need to stop, uh, no one needs to do anything, but it would be appreciated if you stop saying the salt is poison. Because to me, whenever you say something is poison, that's giving it a, like, a nut, like, you know, it's medicine. You're saying that it's medicine. A strong medicine. This word poison is bullshit. It's strong medicine. You don't want to take too much of strong medicine because your body won't be able to handle it, obviously. So this is where we get the word poison from. We're taught this word because of the strong reaction that we have within. Yes, we ha you will have a strong reaction. This is coming from my experience, from what I have experienced with other people taking in too much inorganic salts. You have the shits immediately. Zen, have you ever drank, hmm, what would it be, 64 ounces around there of water, of salt water? And experience what that did for you? Do you, I mean, I have. I was told that it would give me the shits. I didn't have anything happen to me. It was a it was a shit ton of salt water I drank, because because I I mean this is what I do like as a shaman I, my my body is my experiment my body is my lab I experiment with it constantly. So when I drank all this salt water, I was you know hoping that you know what I was reading what would happen and that I would have a nice bowel movement. Nothing happened. I didn't have anything happen. So that kind of seemed for me that maybe I needed some of that salt. My body obviously absorbed some of it and didn't expel it like I was, like the research I did and, and what I read upon. So this salt thing is another trigger thing, and it's a mentality thing, it's a belief structure thing that people have been taught to believe, you know, they, they, they've went along with the lie of the nutritional system that they've been uh, taught. So you're constantly gonna going to come up against people who think they know what the fuck they're talking about without having the experience or they have one experience and then they think that you know that's that's obviously going to be how it is for everyone whenever you had one small experience and then didn't investigate further this is what i'm saying like even though i have my experiences that's not the end all be all like i'm just citing my experiences Okay. That's the thing. That's how you work with it. That's how you work with your energies. And you know, and when you really understand it, you just go back into it because why not? Like I'm, I'm gonna sit here after this, uh, probably, probably tomorrow to Friday. I do fast. I just, I sit down, drink water and urine, and put my body into a certain type of position, or get out of body and do some crazy shit in the astral realm to be shamanistic. But this doesn't take away from how I'm, how I'm adding to that. Because experience trumps everything. Experience is above all. What a, what a quinky dink.
And I'm about to just uh, start my fast here whenever the new moon hits. And it's around the new moon. I'm just going to have to feel it out. I'm kind of pissed off about the last fucking cycle that happened. I cut it I cut it short, way too short. So I, I very well may start this one early. To kind of make up for that one. But yes, experience trumps all, and experiment. Experiment on yourself. And, and keep going. Don't just stop on, on one experience and think that they, you, you have found the fucking answer of the Philosopher's Stone. No! That's not how this shit works. You gotta keep at it. Keep going. Refine, 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 define. Define the ref re within the refinement, you find the defining element. Also, Zenat Man, <laughs> and, and, I, and, I, and I and I fucking talked about this in my last one because of the genie, like you know, being at the fucking supreme level of awareness and, and realizing that where it's at is going back into the fucking muck <laughs> of where everyone else is, so that you can really start to bring. As many people up as you can, up in awareness, up in levity of the truth within all of them, within all of us. So don't fucking tell me you don't know. <laughs> I know you know. I know you know, motherfucker, who they are. And if you don't really know who they are, then then. Uh, Let's talk about that, you know, we'll, we'll have some conversations about that. I'll, I'll direct you to towards some pathways so that you can figure that shit out or, or make some more connections. And I already have, like, I already sent you an email recently, uh, the other day, I think, towards a channel who uh, I'm involved with. I'm part of that cadre. So, uh, we'll see if you see that or not. But, if you choose to engage within that channel, then, uh, you'll have a lot of your answers come up just, just naturally. Synchronistically, if you want to use that word. Uh, we just we just constantly go back and forth, don't we? It's like a ping pong fucking effect here. And sometimes we act like we don't know, just to be cute, just just to to be just to be able to relate around uh, normal folk or whatever you want to call it. I'm not gonna go too into too deep into it because it's just fucking depressing to me. Like there's no such thing as normal folk nowadays. It's just <sighs> people that go along with the bullshit. But for the for those of you that don't go along with the bullshit, you should be able to start to wake up and. And, and be more aware of uh, who they are. And we keep using this word they. They are doing this. They are doing that. 
there's levels of this shit, obviously, with everything. So there's levels to the day. It's like a pyramid, you know. On certain levels, there's certain awarenesses. Then you go up a level, another form of awareness, another form of control. You go up and up and up to the highest point, to, to the capstone. That capstone is just like on the fucking paper fucking mache money that that the monopoly bullshit that they you utilize and use the capstone if you haven't already noticed is is up above the rest because it's it's not attached to all the fucking bullshit that the, all that other shit is attached to that all seeing eye of the capstone there on the pyramid is seeing everything that's going on but that's only on a certain level as well they fail well, what, what those fucking uh, motherfuckers that think they see all fail to see <sighs> is that you have to flip that pyramid around there is an infinite toroidal field happening. A flux. And even if you're in the know and you are aware of what you think is the future, you fail to see that it is always fluxing in every moment, always and always. And so this is where you lost control. Is that you are too caught up in controlling the aspirations of the one dreamer that chose to dream a dream. That encapsulated your corruption. That gave you a moment. A few added moments in fact then continue on your path of domination and control and in that act you try to understand why <laughs> and in that act the dreamer's dream was able to Words words can't even touch upon this here. We'll we'll get into this later on. Yeah, we will. Because this has to do with uh some Siberian shit, some Russian shit. Some Vedic Russian shit. You want to talk about Tartaria? Mm, talk about Vedrus. So yeah, that's essentially all I wanted to say right now. Love to you all. Love to fucking everyone. Love to love yourselves. Uh, maybe I'll talk a little bit about people lately that I've experienced within my little field here. People stressing out, uh, having quote unquote panic attacks, and the advice that I gave them was. Essentially, I don't want to ever throw too much at, at, some, at certain people uh, in, in such a short little span of time. So I try to keep it really simple. 
uh, especially when people are still feeling the effects of maybe stress or panic or whatever you have to keep it very simple you have to be able to engage with them on the level of you know what the fuck they're going through you've been through it so like if you ever want to give someone advice i would recommend it, that you reassure them like i've been through this or i know what what it's like on a level if not what you're going through on the level like i've been through something like it so for me whenever i give people advice like that I try to keep it short and simple. Try to try to tell them what their body is going through in those moments, the things that they can do to alleviate those symptoms that are going on. The things that have worked for me, which is you're probably very very fucking dehydrated if you're that stressed out. You have to hydrate yourself, especially if you enjoy your alcohol and you utilize that for a de-stress mechanism. You have to super hydrate yourself before, otherwise you're just going to compound the negative effects that's going on. It may feel good after you get you know, to a certain level of intoxication, but after you sober, sober up, your body is going to be like, well, you know you didn't hydrate first so now your immune system is, is twice as fucked so let's not do that also the first thing I, I say is that you know your breath you have to realize where your breath is at oftentimes almost all the fucking time whenever you're stressed out whenever you can't handle shit you're cutting off your breath completely and this is this is a natural mechanism here, and this is not something that you hear really from people, is that this is a natural mechanism to cut your breath off, to hold your breath, to squeeze, because then you get more of a finite effect in the mind. You're able to squeeze that thought or the thing, the action that you have to do or, or perform. But if you continuously do that and don't release and don't breathe all the way in, all the way out, realize where your breath is at. If you keep cutting off oxygen to your system, obviously your fucking system that relies upon oxygen and prana is not going to be doing so well. So number one, utilize your breath. Realize where your breath is at. Number two, hydrate your fucking self. Number three, what I would recommend is cold showers. Shock the system somehow. What, what, what I recommended was for this person in particular I'm talking about that just happened tonight was any kind of hydration is going to be super important. Super hydrate yourself. Take a, take a long shower that's going to hydrate you as well. Go as hot as you can and then go as cold as you can. And that's going to shock the system. That's going to rebalance you with your body and your mind. It's going to reconnect that, that bridge there. And you know, whenever I say this to people, I'm like, you know, a lot of people aren't used to cold showers or shocking your system like that so just do as you can so yeah that's probably probably it for this one uh, yeah I don't know fucking this salt shit is just getting fucking ridiculous, but at the same time, like, the terminology is used here, like, I would request, you know, maybe some clarity here, because you keep using the word poison, but for me, that word poison, it, it, it only brings up 
po <laughs> positive things for me because <laughs> even even though like I, I may go through hell whenever I poison myself, you know, whenever I come out the other side, it's it's you gain so much from living, <laughs> understanding that you have the power and essence to live through quote unquote poison, and then ultimately after so many experiences with different kinds of strong essences and plant spirit medicines that many people will have you try to have you believe are poisons you will ultimately come to realize for yourself what poison is what that how bullshit that word is it, poison goes right along with with death in that the, both those words are bullshit I guess I'll end it with if you want to utilize salts I would recommend fermenting your salts making them more into a living salt ultimately coming to realize that you don't really need any salt at all if you want salt to taste now do spice to taste whenever you want to uh, enter into the culinary world and start to craft and alchemize certain things create certain uh foods and experiment yes do it to taste and salt can bring out certain flavors and aromas because of the effects the salt has obviously too much of anything is going to not be beneficial as far as poison, there's no such there's no such thing as that word. So yeah. Clarity. Distill and refine towards clarity. And then you'll start to understand a little bit more about what the word purity means because of the clearness the clarity that you have allowed to happen within your body and then within the mind you'll understand what the word purity means <laughs> with or without salt <laughs> but yes ultimately realize what organic and inorganic shit is and an experience for yourself the effects that has on your body. Your body is your own your own fucking laboratory. So get to work and get to testing peeps. Peace.